So we are standing with former five-time WWE champion, the beautiful... Melina Perez. <laughs> Melina Perez. Now, Miss Perez, you have got to tell us what, how did you get started and what was kind of your inspiration behind everything that you do? Well, it's been a crazy road. I used to be a medical assistant for a cardiologist, so I kind of fell into it because my friend, um, he suggested, hey, you want to do something like fun? And I just did it for fun. But I realized that when I had a WWE scout um, see me and then there was a potential for me to actually do this as a career, I realized, well, I better see if I could do this or not. Like, so I went all out. And the thing is, is when it comes to something that you love and you, no matter what you dream up, whatever you aspire to be, just keep going no matter what. You, where there's a will, there's a way, and that's the beauty of life, is that sometimes you have roadblocks, sometimes it makes you feel like this is impossible, but it actually is possible. You just have to find different routes. When a door closes, find another route going around it, and maybe you're gonna have 10,000 doors keep closing on you, but they, I guarantee you there's a way to make it happen. So no matter what you apply it to, there is a way to make it happen. I love it, absolutely. Thank you for that good advice. And so what, what advice would you give to somebody else that maybe is aspiring to be just like you? I mean, come on, five times, so like you got some experience. <laughs> so <laughs> get, like, could you tell the fans, like, give somebody some, some good advice on what to get to your position right now? Well, in a way, it's kind of like the same thing. Um, I had a lot of people tell me I couldn't do something. Like, you couldn't be a bad guy. You couldn't do that. You're too short. You're too this. You're too that. And I wouldn't take no for an answer. I had, a, I had something set in mind that this is what I'm capable of. This is what I wanted to accomplish. And I just believed in myself. And sometimes you wish you'd like had that support. And I'm not saying I never did, but there were times where I had no support at all. And I was the one who had to believe in myself. I had to be my own hero and I had to make it happen. So sometimes in life, that's what happens. You have to make it happen for yourself. So the best thing I could say for a person aspiring, especially when it comes to um, females too, is that don't take no for an answer. Just keep going, believe in yourself. So how do men feel about you? Sometimes. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's like I get them, I get, it's like always 50-50. It's like a combination of things where they love it. They're like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. And then sometimes it's just, I guess, intimidating that it's, I'm too much of a, too strong of a personality or something. And then it, it breaks my heart. But then at the same time, I'm like, well, you know, sorry, but this is me. <laughs> So what's the preparation like? Because I mean, you're a champion, so you're you you're out here winning. Like, what is the preparation like for um, for for WWE and everything? Like, what would be something that somebody that doesn't know as much about it, such as myself, would be surprised to know? Oh, I, it's different for everybody, preparation wise. For me um, and a lot of people, it's like music is a big thing where kind of like you listen to things. But I also I also combine I picture everything like. When you hear of like the secret and stuff like that, what you, what you picture in your mind is effective. Like I, I think that's where I got a lot of success. I never did the secret, but I feel like I unknowingly did it in my mind. I pictured it. I had like little pictures in my um, on my wall just because I love seeing certain things. But I have it in my ha in my mind where I've been and where I want to go. And as I'm listening to music, as I'm stretching and warming up, I picture everything that I want to achieve and every place I've been that got me to that point. That's some amazing advice. Thank you so much for speaking with us. And you're so pretty, you're so beautiful. Like, I just, I can't get over it. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking with us. And I'm sure we'll be back next year. And it'll be so much fun. <laughs> Thanks again for talking with us. Oh, thank you.